This is part 101 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss animating colors using jQuery. With the basic jQuery functionality, animate method cannot animate non-numeric style properties like color, background color, border color, etc. jQuery UI adds support for animating colors and class transitions. Let's understand this with an example. On the page right here, we've got a div element with an ID. We have also set the style attribute. We have set width to 500 pixels, 1 pixel solid black border, padding of 5 pixels, font size 15 pixels. We've got some text inside this div element and then a break element and a button element. So if we view this HTML in the browser, this is how it looks like at the moment. So when we click this animate button, we want to apply some styles to this div element and animate them using the jQuery animate function. We want to try and animate both numeric and non-numeric style properties. So back in Visual Studio, within our jQuery ready function, I'm going to create a variable. Let's call this toggle color and I'm going to initialize this to false. And then when we click this button, that's when we want those animations to happen. So let's hook up a click event handler to this button. The ID of the button is btn animate. So let's use the jQuery ID selector, find the button element and associate a click event handler. So inside this click event handler, what I'm going to do is create another variable and I'm going to call this div element and let's find the div element using its ID. The ID of the div element is my div. And I'm going to check the value of this variable. So it's a Boolean variable. So it contains basically true or false. If it is true, then what we want to do is find the div element and animate it using the jQuery animate function. So the first parameter that I'm going to pass to this function is a JavaScript object which is going to contain the style properties that we want to animate. So what are the properties that we want to animate? We want to animate let's say font size. So we want to change the font size to 15 pixels. That is a numeric style property and similarly I also want to change border width property. Again border width is a numeric property. I want to change it to one pixel and I also want to change background color and let's change background color to red. This is a non-numeric property. This is a color property and we also want to change color, the foreground color to white and finally let's also change border color and we want to change border color to green. Okay, so if toggle color, if that is true, then we want to do that. Else, we want to do a similar thing, but we want to slightly change the values of these style properties. So let's make a copy of this and let's change font size to 20 pixels, border width to 5 pixels, Let's change the background color to green, font color to white, and border color to red. Okay? So if it is true, you know, if toggle color variable is true, do this. If it is false, do this. Okay? All this is happening inside the click event handler. And what I'm now going to do is, when I click the button once, you know, the first time, this toggle color variable is going to be false. So it comes here it checks this condition so this variable is false so it's going to come to the else part apply these styles animate them and then what I want to do is change the value of this variable to opposite of what it is currently so inside that click event handler I'm going to say toggle color equals not of toggle color. So what is this going to do? If the variable value at the moment is true, it's going to apply not, so it's going to make it false. If it is false, it will change it to true. All right, so with all these changes, let's reload our page and look at what's going to happen when we click this animate button. So look at that, it has animated all the numeric style properties, right? Font size is changed, border width is also changed, 
but look at the non numeric style properties that is the color properties the background color is not applied foreground color that is the font color is not changed and even the border color it's not changed okay that's basically because if you look at our jquery code right here so here we have the jquery code and the script file that here we have referenced is just the basic jquery file we didn't reference the jquery ui file so jquery ui adds support for color animations and class transitions so if you want to animate colors using the jquery animate function then you need to reference the jquery ui file and i have already referenced that within my project but we need to reference that on this page so i'm going to simply drag and drop that jquery ui file on this page so now let's go ahead and save the changes reload this page and look at this when we click the animate button now the colors are also applied the background color is changed to green font color is changed to white border color is changed to red if i click the button again look at that background color full color and border color all the colors are changed and at the moment you know it's using the default time for animation you can change the time if you want using the second parameter of the animate function which is speed let's specify the speed in milliseconds let's specify that as 2000 milliseconds now all these animations should complete over a period of 2000 milliseconds look at that it takes like two seconds to complete those animations So here is the example that we just discussed. In our next video, we'll discuss an example of class transitions. Thank you for listening and have a great day.